Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Gadget Racers for the PS2. In the last part, we had to end it off early, and it was kind of bland, in my opinion. And in the next part, we will hopefully uh, be doing a race, well, an annoying race, in my opinion, and more frog ornaments. And find what and I what said in the last episode, what we wanted to do in uh, Noise City. Hopefully, we'll be doing that in this episode. So right now we're going to sort out the parts for this race and today I'm going to use the big tires, hot rod and jet turbines. And maybe something else. And uh, no. No. Oh, let's have a duck on our uh, roof. Let's have a duck. Uh, any stickers? Uh, LM. Yeah, let's have the duck sticker. And uh, no, horn and... Let's have the duck meter. Let's go all duck today in this episode. So, right now let's head over to the place that we're gonna race to. Race in. Oh my god, it's even got baby ducks behind it. That's so cute. That meter is kind of awesome, I do have to admit. Right, and we want to head to... It's the blow. It's down here. Let's go! Woohoo! Right, it should be the one on the right. No, the other side. No, it's definitely that one. Yep, yeah, it's definitely this one. Disco King M. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Disco King series. Even though, with the coin catcher, it makes this race a whole lot easier. Hmm. And I'm feeling kind of thing, because everyone does not have the... Okay, the people in front do. Okay. Cut that took that corner kind of wide. Oh, it's the egg that gives the uh, timer the uh, jet turbine spray. That is awesome! I just realized that. Go faster, damn you. I'm gonna go this way first. Wait, where's the... it's that way. I'm kinda not used to that route. Oh shit! I gotta admit, that section is kinda awesome though. It can help you in some cases and just doesn't in the rest. I need to save that uh, energy for the jet turbine. But I thought this race would be really, really difficult. I mean, the, the Disco King L. Damn, that's difficult. Whoa, sure. I'm okay. No, no, no. Okay, we're okay. I kind of went all over the place for a second. Yo, go away. Well, I'm to the Nissan Skyline anyway. Where's that? Probably behind the other races, probably. Yeah, this course is actually not going that bad. 
Disco King uh, S and M are not bad. It's just the L. It's just the L that gets me. Because that one is difficult as mad, mad difficult. All the courses I seem to do, it's just that one that probably gets me the most. I still like that ducky on up in the though. Oh, damn it. God damn you, floating blocks. Where's the opponents? Just behind us. Ah, oh, crap. Oh god, not again! Yeah, I need to be careful on our fuel gauge. It's running low. But we're near the fit. It's empty. We're near the finish line. Ah, oh, it's empty. God dang it. I had to say that. I was gonna say it's near the finish. I'm near the finish line. Let's use it all and then it's finished. Well, we done that race. I think we got another 2,500 dirt. Oh, we got 2,800. Frick that. So we have Chase has been unlocked, and we have Body One. Yeah, One Four. Forget the zero. The zero doesn't exist. We have the Nissan 300 Z, if I believe so. Yeah. So right now, let's continue with our, um... Frog ornaments. Uh, we are gonna keep the duck stickers and meter on right now. Cause I don't know. We're gonna make it a duck e episode, probably. Uh, yeah, duck episode collecting frogs. That's great. Definitely how it likes this full one, yeah. And, by the way, this is for Tesca, driving around Noise City. Look for a bright red car. Ah, I know who. I believe you drive in a Mazda... Oh, is it an old MX-5 or an RX-7? I might have to look this up. I'm pretty sure it's... I know it's a Mazda. But is it the old RX? Uh. Yes, yeah, the old RX-7. Okay. Yo, I did the birds. I did just went past him as well. Yo. Oh, Fluffy. Oh. Isn't that the frog ornament you delivered? Why are you delivering it? Part time? Serious? That's horrible. Why didn't you tell me about it? That's really horrible. But thank you. It's my sister's birthday. Really, thanks. Well, I'm off. I'm going to give it to her now. Okay. We have done that frog ornament. And now let's continue with our f frog ornament collecting, I guess. Here. Oh boy, thanks for the delivery. Here's 600. By the way, this is for all fiend of Grudge Garden. Look inside the water. Good luck. Oh, this guy. That guy. That guy. 
Let's go! I believe I can fly. No, I can't. Let's warp to our garage and go in the pond. That doesn't make any sense, but oh well. Let's give this guy his frog ornament. Right, where is he? No, not you. Go away. Ah, there he is. Uh, so let's go this way and catch up to him. You. Oh wait, no, wrong guy. I just remembered who it is. Oh wait. I freeze. Oh, I should go back there. Hello again. Would you like to hear stories about my youth? Yes, yes. Okay. Let's see, where do I start? When I was young, your age, this world was a very dangerous place. A lot of violence people were wondering about. There was no one that could stand up to them. If you raced against one and lost, they would take all your money and belongings. A father of a young boy was challenged and lost, and that boy father was thrown out of their home. They had nothing to eat, nowhere to sleep. That boy was so bothered and tired and hard to get his house back, and in order to get that, he practiced hard. To not any to not make it the bad sorry to not make his parents worry about him he had to he did it in secret soon he became very confident in his racing abilities and challenged his friends just as he thought that there was no one who could touch him soon after he was challenged by the bad guys everyone said it was impossible for a child to win the bad guys never took him serious but he was fast and no one ever could see him. After beating all those bad guys, the people began to call in the boy a historic name. And now my story comes to an end. Thank you for listening to the long story. Yes, I am that little boy you ask, giggling. I wonder. Yes, I wonder if you Right, we have to go in here to speak to this guy. No? There we are. Yo. Oh, hey, frog. Yes, please, give it to me. Aw, oh, thank you so much. It's this pinkish frog. I wanted one so much. Thank you very much. Okay, we've done that. Let's go over back to Thingy's house. To see how many orders we have to do. Hopefully not that much now. Oh boy, thanks for everything, really. Here's 600 dirt. By the way, this is for Kai... Well, who lives in a sewer somewhere in New City. Ah, uh, this guy. This guy! I'm gonna need to change parts. So let's use... me. Yeah. Actually, let's use the long skis, the boat, and that's it. Let's go over to Noise City to do the uh, drag time trial thing and the problem. And let's go into 
Drag racing stall. Oh crap. Hey, this is the drag racing stall just for us racing fans. If you love drag racing, we will challenge you no cost. Would you like to challenge? Uh, we want to do the... Uh, is it the water? This is the water. Yeah, it is the water. Let's go! So, this is just a dra normal drag race, but set only just for boats. And we've done that. Nine seconds. All we have to do left is the submarine one, which we'll do when we're gonna do the uh, Splash Highway M course. No, not, not M, L. Because I think the submarine parts would probably want to be one of the best items to use in that race course. However, I think I'm going to use my best combination for that race course in the uh, in the GP, which I'm not going to reveal just yet. I'll probably do it when in the GP probably best. So right now we are going to go to the sewer. Actually, I might as well buy this, this guy's stupid sticker while I'm over here. The base, you can actually buy it if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it is bad. Yo, we come to deliver a frog. Cool and outrageous. Yeah. Let's go back in and buy this guy's stupid sticker. Uh, yeah, I'll buy it. We have used and abused sticker. Which is... not good. So right now, let's go over to... the thingy place where I wanted to get some stuff. Oh, great. Can I get out of this water now? No, I can't. Right, looks like I have the warp. And do this last frog ornament. And then end it off. And let's go over to the ear. Actually, I won't end it off once we've done the uh, frog ornament. I'll end it off once we. once we go in the building. And capture card, stop lagging. Thank you. And this is for. Oh! We done it! This is a gift for you. Thanks you for everything. I'd like you to also give you this. We have a frog meter. I'm really grateful for all that you've done. Thank you. I wonder if we can actually change the color of our frog. That would be interesting. I'm gonna go to Noise City and find out. Because I really want to change this frog color. So, did we have our own personal froggy ornament? Which is awesome. So let's go in here. So let's paint part C. No, that's the jet turbines. Come on, I just want to paint the frog. Oh, God dang it. If only we can do that, that would have been awesome. Maybe I'll go back to a uh, thingy's place, see if we can change it up. But right now, let's go in here. Kind of have a little side quest. Welcome to Scarcy Corporate. Star Sky Corporation, where we have a smile, where smile is your friend. How can we help you today? Let's speak with this guy. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Barry. I gotta work hard like a beaver. Working hard like a beaver, making money like a bank. That is life. So how's another happy beaver working day? 
Right. Let's stick to Kozo from Plank. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Kozo. I'm grateful to meet you. I believe work should be done in teeny steps, yes? Each teeny steps is important instead of making millions at once. Slowly and steadily work up to it. I believe in that's what business is. Well, I have to return to work now. I have to work on one little step at a time. Well, if you have time, freeze it free to feel free to visit. And now let's speak to President Nad yeah, whatever his name is. No ho ho! Merry Christmas! Hello eh? I don't know what who you are, but I but you come at a good time. There's something I wanna ask you about something. Wait, no I mucked up that sentence again. There's something I there was something I wanted to ask you outside of our company. I want to retire and live freely. Right now, the only two workers are Barry and Cots, who are who are very well indeed. Out of two, which is more suitable to be present? Would you think it over with me? Sure. Oh really? Thank you so much. Please examine each very carefully. Uh, no, sorry. So, I think I'll leave off with in this episode. However, I'm going to leave to you guys, the audience. Who do you think is more suitable for the job? Do you think Barry is suitable for the job? Or Cots? Whoever gets the most votes, I will pick and see at the end. But I think I'll leave it off here in this part. We did a race. Completed the frog ornaments and getting speaking to President No Ho Ho about who should get the job. And leave down in the comment sections below who do you want to see? It's Barry or Cots? So I'll see you later in the next episode. Take it easy.